Happy Sunday everyone, this is Jadora here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be teaching you how to make salmon with a little Creole flair. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, you need to wash your salmon. I'm trying to get all those preservatives that's on the salmon, all that sliminess. So make sure that you are washing the front and the back and then like so, pat it dry. I hope all of you have been doing okay and enjoyed your Easter with your families. Um, I know this is a rough time for everyone, but I just hope this video can make you smile and that your spirits are uplifted through this video. So as you guys can see, I'm just cutting the flank of my salmon. You do not have to do this. I just do this in my household to maintain portion size. So I'm going to speed up these clips a little bit. You'll see below what I'm using. So the first thing that I'm doing right here is using some Creole mustard. The mustard works as a tenderizer and gives your salmon that nice crust. And the Creole mustard versus using regular mustard enhances that natural flavor of your salmon. Now I know some of you are like, girl, why are you using mustard on your salmon? But Please believe me, like you are not going to taste the mustard. It's just really for technique purposes, just to make sure you get that beautiful crust that is so sought after when you're eating salmon. I promise you will not taste the mustard. Trust me. Alright guys, so right here is some California lemon peel. So it's basically, if you were doing like a sauce, you would use lemon zest to infuse the sauce. When you are baking things, you can use California lemon peel and it basically serves as an accent to your seasoning. And later on when I pour that lemon juice to hydrate my salmon, it will kind of work together. So guys, make sure that you are doing this step. This is so crucial. You want to make sure that everything has flavor. So in the insides of my salmon where I made that cut, I'm just putting that seasoning on top of it as you can see and make sure that my corners have seasoning. We want to make sure that everything is flavorful, okay? We don't want any blandness in our salmon. And guys, while I got you here, I know you see these little subscribe buttons, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment and tell me what you think of this so far. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Alright guys, so in this next clip, you're going to see some lemon juice. So I live by lemon juice whenever I am cooking. Lemon juice just brightens up the flavor of your salmon while tenderizing it. So I am using two methods of tenderization, which is the Creole mustard and the lemon juice, just to ensure that my salmon is appeasing texture-wise. So as all of you can see, I've baked my salmon for 15 minutes and I'm pulling it out. So you guys can see it's a little pale. It doesn't have that color, that crust that I want. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take that foil off as you can see. Close up, close up. Don't you like that close up? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it on the top rack and broil it for two to five minutes on high. So make sure when you do the step that you are close by and keeping your eye on it and you take it out once you achieve this look. If you want it a little darker, you can do that. Alright guys, so thank you for tuning in. This concludes my video. Make sure that you subscribe. I'll see you next time.